have the pleasure of speaking with Chris Thompson from eResearch. How are you? How are you today? I'm great, JC. How about you? You just released the data communications management report. Not sure where to start other than is it a buy or a sell? <laughs> well, we have a target price of $4. It's currently trading uh, in the mid 150 range. Um, so we think it's a, a, it's a buy rating. And I think you really target the year end results. Is that correct? Yeah, the report that we just released was their year end financials um, for the company. Um, things are very positive. Uh, they're a, a, a company that focuses on uh, doing print technology for companies. Things have been a little slow because of COVID, um, but they their Q4 came in strong. And it looks like the, the start of the year is going to be strong. They just actually pre-released their Q1 numbers. Uh, and they were ahead of the, my modeling. I modeled about 64 million and they came in at about 69 million. So it seems that things are, are turning around for the company. Okay, so if I understand you properly, your buy rating is close to four times what they're currently trading at. Yeah, it's about, it's a little more than three times what they're, they're trading at right now. And yeah, the company is basically, uh, it, it, it's trading at a low multiple because people still think it's a, sort of a printing company, but they really have a lot of digital technology that they're selling into their, their large client base. Uh, they have over 2000, you know, customers plus, you know, a sort of 200 really top tier customers. And it's their digital transformation and that's sort of going to move this company forward, which should garner a higher multiple uh, moving forward. Well, it's clear you're a fan of the company, but I personally was very impressed with the CEO that they brought on. He's been there for what a year and been performing magic yeah uh the new ceo came on about a year ago and started to spearhead uh this digital uh technology transformation and so and and also pay down debt they've got some good cash flow so in this quarter they had nine million dollars uh or a little more than nine million dollars of ebitda uh and that helps to pay down the cash flow as well as make some tactical acquisition and that's their focus right now is this uh, digital transformation strategy, which I think will bode well for the company over the next couple of years. Well, Chris, we want people to read and actually do their own due diligence on whether or not they should buy a stock or learn more about it and follow it for a while. So they can go where? eResearch.com to get a copy of your report? Yeah, they can go to eResearch.com to get a copy of the report, as well as we did an initiation report which is a little more robust for the content to learn more about the company. Uh, we do a full valuation model in the report, so it's well worth the read. Um, and we look at some comps as well. So it's a, it's a good solid 20 page report for anyone interested in learning more about the company and its valuation. And I think I heard you properly. They've got their Q1s coming out. Yeah, they just pre-released in a news release. So their financials will be officially released next week. Um, and then we'll do a report uh, on the Q1 uh, a little bit afterwards. So for those of you out there already following data communications or interested in learning more, again, go to eResearch or go to data communications website. Thank you, Chris, for joining us. Thanks, Tracy.